Hold on, girlfriend. Wait. <coughs> what you see out there? Camping in the ledge, recluse. Why don't we do a quick in-field review of the Ledge Recluse model of tent. Believe it or not, this tent cost $95. And here we are at 10,700 feet elevation using it. Uh, actually, let me start with the upsides on it. One, I love the color. The mossy green is light inside. Same stuff I said in my backpacking tent review series. Love it and it blends in in this environment. Somewhat, not totally. Good enough though. Much better for me, my mileage, than a yellow, orange, or red tent. Um, it's very roomy. Great center height. I think it's like 50 inches high in there. Great floor space. It's 100 inches long. So tons of room inside. That's all good. Uh, how'd you like sleeping in there last night, suspect? Awesome. It's a good tent. Um, now, on the other hand, we had really nice weather. The real tent test will be uh, long term of course see how durable it is as time goes on see if your seams stay stitched up if your zippers keep working all that stuff and also storminess you know is it going to survive stormy conditions rainy conditions just like we had in glacier call that was a huge test and that Gunnison 2 actually passed um, I think this tent probably probably would do okay too you don't know until you do it um, there are a couple negative things you need to understand about it though it's not a super quality tent. It's a medium level quality. Definitely not a low quality. It has a lot of features kind of above its price point. Um, it does have anodized aluminum poles. They don't say what brand they are. They're not DAC aluminum. And these aluminum poles are thinner than other tents of this size. So that might be a factor. So you're gonna have to stake it out well. You can see there's some stake out loops there on the tent fly. Also, the nylons they, nylons they use, not ultra quality, medium quality levels. I've talked to this before, you can see it right there. Practically speaking, it won't make a huge difference. Maybe durability over time, it might. You might have fuzzing up of the nylon as it goes through. The stitching is gonna be wider than a comparable hardware, mountain hardware, North Face tent, Marmot, any other quality tent manufacturer. This is a cost saving feature so you don't have uh, stitching quite as closely spaced. Uh, another negative side I've noted is that the whole tent body uses this very lightweight ripstop nylon fabric. That's not negative on the sides but they use it on the floor as well and the upside is it'll make the tent somewhat lighter. Actually quite light. Even upgraded and that means I've added these MSR groundhog stakes to it and the ground sheet. The tent weighs around seven pounds four ounces maybe seven six I forget I'll annotate it if it's wrong that's a pretty good weight for a such a huge tent uh, but that's partially due to that very lightweight floor material that they've integrated there I would not recommend using this tent without a ground sheet just go and get a tarp like I did cut it out you know close to the outline and then I think you'll be good to go the vestibules are actually pretty awesome they're roomy although strangely enough they're not really matched to the shape of the doors. Notice the door comes over here and opens like that. And it really should be matched right here. Unless I have this pitch wrong, but I spent a little bit of time on it yesterday saying, man, that doesn't seem like it's matched up. So you kind of got to travel this way to get in the, get through the vesti as I call it. Right, but pretty roomy, you can see that. And again, I extend my ground sheet past it so I have dry storage area, especially important in the rain. There's that 
uh, tie, sh it's actually the Velcro tie that you can attach to your poles if you really want to guy it out. You would have to do that if you, if you use those guy lines for strength. Remember with those thin poles, very windy, stormy conditions, I highly recommend you do that. And you'd have to carry more stakes, they are not included. The stakes that came with the ledge um, recluse tent, garbage. It's another cost and weight saving, uh, weight savings measure. Uh, you'll have to upgrade them. They bent when I set this thing up in the backyard. So I go ahead and upgrade them with the, a quality Y. That's kind of, kind of a Y shape or V shaped uh, tent peg, either from Sierra Designs, North Face, MSR makes some like that. These are MSR Groundhog. Um, breathability. This is kind of another negative side. Remember, to get under, to get that moisture out from under the fly, we need airflow. See how this is kind of flapping? In rain, what would happen is this, this fly would ride right against the tent body. Not too cool, actually. Um, so what I'm gonna do, and you can see I've magic markered it right there with permanent marker. I'm gonna sew a guy line out on that, and then I'm just gonna punch it out like that. So put a little short guy line, yet another, stake I'll have to carry with me and then I'll stake it out right here and with that punched out like that now the air has a chance to get up under the rain fly like you see there and push that moisture out. We did sleep pretty dry didn't we suspect? Yeah. Again temperate conditions it got down to about 30 last night but uh, we didn't notice any moisture at all in the tent. Let me take a peek inside and I'll show you they do a really good job with the mesh integration here. In a lot of ways this design reminds me of the old Quest style of tent. Ah, oh, here we are, home away from home. Okay, you can see that tent fly, just like I was saying, is riding right up against the body. That's unacceptable. Even out here I can, you know, rig up a, a tent cord, actually a 550 cord or something, whittle out a wood stake and I'll punch that out. But good mesh integration right here. See there's on the sides. Here, there's no other exterior doors, so that's your door right there. And like I said in my other reviews, that's pretty much the standard now. That mesh is integrated in the door, and there's no way to actually close the door off, which I don't mind at all. Moisture is your biggest problem in a tent like this. You need to push it out. Remember, in freezing conditions, that uncoated nylon, the ripstop nylon there, can actually be coated with frost and become completely impermeable to vapor. But in temperatures like this, no problem. Great job on the mesh though. There's the included gear loft. We totally used it, it was awesome. No problems at all noted. They do have two side pockets here. And they could be sewn a little bit tighter. See how loose they are? I prefer it if they're really tight up against here. They're real floppy. And then you look at the seam construction. I'm thinking that's overlapping seams, we didn't test the water proofness of it. One thing you got to keep in mind though is you're looking at a hundred dollar tent, thereabouts. Uh, Costco was selling it, there's also, uh, I'll annotate other places you can get it. I think for the money, it's a decent tent, it really is, and it's lightweight given the limitations that I said, in other words the thinner poles, the thinner fabric on the floor, just understand that, but uh, I mean the factory weight is under seven pounds, carry weight, and it's accurate too. So, pretty amazing really. Uh, durability, time will tell. Good color, great room, excellent floor space. As you can see, two huge vestibules that you can use. Um, great coloration. Glow in the dark zipper pulls on the interior, by the way. A nice little touch there. For a hundred dollar tent, I think uh, it's a good option. You know, if you can just punch that out, you're good to go. There's a quick in-field review by Nut and Fancy, my son last suspect of our home away from home here at about 10,700 feet elevation. Beautiful mountain day. We have wind coming through here and there. Frogs croaking in the distance. There's our refrigerator, snow patch. Use it to store fish, food we brought up. Allie the Mountain Dog chilling out over there. I'm not sure what Last Suspect is doing. Guess he's guzzling some more crystal light. So there you have it. Quick infield review. The Ledge Recluse model of tent. I don't know how long it'll be out there, when they'll change their models, but as of June 
2010. It's a high value 10 option you might want to consider. See ya.